morning. It is our last day in Paris. And we are heading to that bread shop again to try to see if they're open to get some of the famous bread and pastries and croissants. I'm hoping they're open. And then we are heading out for a day full of shopping. So, yes. And also, we get, gotta find a bank. Gotta find a bank around here. So, yeah. Be open. Unless everybody's looking for another place to go again. Oh, no. What? I can't tell. So they're closed still. Trail. No sign, no nothing. And it's not a holiday that I know of. Yesterday was Ascension Day, so I don't know. I'll give you guys a shot of the building in case you come to Paris so you can come here if they open back up. But it's just weird. It's not weird. This is France. This is not America. In America, you know, we're like, hey, we'll be closed for Memorial Day. Even Chipotle does that. Mm -hmm. We'll be back the day after Memorial Day or whatever, but not them. But I did. they probably feel like, yo, we so exclusive, we do what we want. So plan B, again, is to go back to the other place where we got croissants and pastries yesterday, which was delicious. So I can't say if the other place would have been much more delicious. This place is it's great. So thank God for plan B. Because we also uh, took a 30-minute train ride both days to try to come here. And so it is, it's disappointing. It is disappointing for them to be closed two days in a row. But once again, it's not. What can you do? So we got the goods. I got a, another pastry with cheese and some type of meat. And then I got two croissants. Let me just show y'all this croissant again. Look how amazing that looks. So we are heading to try to find a vintage store. I can't remember the name of it right now. Even though I googled it. Kilo something. Something Kilo. I'll give you guys a shot of it when we get there. So guys, we found these toilets that are just like in the middle of nowhere because we're out shopping. And it's literally like a self-service, I'm always shiny. It's like a self-service toilet and you open it up, like it opens up, like you press a button, it washes itself. But we can't understand what it's saying because it's in French, even though I know it speaks English at some point. But let me show you guys. Right now it's washing itself. So it says on here after cleans itself and then it'll go to make it and press the button and go in. You can press the button now. So it opens the did it flush? Okay. Then you can go in. You can choose the restroom. I was I was so afraid that it was just gonna like open up while I was in there using the restroom because clearly there's just like people here. And when I was standing there the first time, I couldn't figure out how to get it to close and stay closed. It was like close and open, close and open. So yeah, it's weird. But I guess also very modern at the same time. <laughs> so yeah, that's the thing in France, in Paris at least. Just self-service bathrooms that clean themselves and you press a button and you go into a pod and you come out. So our shopping day has not been as productive as I would have wanted it to be because it takes so long to walk everywhere and then like all the stores are kind of slow, not American fast. Like they, but I get it, they cater to you as a customer. So it's just taking up a lot of our time. So it's almost time to really head to our Airbnb, pack up our stuff and go to the airport. I got some makeup and I got some caramels and some chocolate and that's it so <sighs> so 
shopping was i mean i know tasha got a few things i think for her people i did not but we did get some chocolates um and some caramels berry they have flavors in like raspberry and mango passion fruit and then there's like a vanilla one i got so i'm a chocolate caramel so those would be really good and then i'll show you guys the box of chocolates i got box of chocolate life mama life always like say it my life was like a <laughs> box of chocolates i got a box of wait i'm not doing forest gum right <laughs> Mama always say it, life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. That's better. That's a lot better. But I'll show you guys my box of chocolates. It has been, it's been an amazing trip. But when I tell you my feet hurt so bad, like so bad, like Tasha's hip has been giving her a little trouble. Is she a good, fresh, young, okay. young vixen? <laughs> My feet, like I strained something in the bottom of my foot and now just my feet overall. I think because like when I strained the, the top of my one foot, I was putting on the pressure on the back of my feet when I was walking and now those just are blew out. So it's been a little trying time, but I think we're going to try to maybe take Ubers for the rest of the time and try to enjoy our the our day in London. We're going to do uh, cream tea. Cream tea. Cream tea. And... There was something else we needed to do in London. Oh, so we wanted to go shopping again. Yeah. Maybe we can go to... And we wanted to hit um, Borough to get... We got to get around through that paella. Oh, and we wanted to get... <laughs> <laughs> Donuts from Dominique and Zam. Yes. Let me tell you, this is what we literally want to do tomorrow. Have cream tea. Get a donut from Dominique and Zell. Paella. We have reservations at Jay Shiki. And we wanted to go to some vintage stores blinks and stares off into space let me tell you what's gonna happen tomorrow we're gonna probably wake up an hour later than we should probably. we're gonna try to prioritize whether we want cream tea or dominique and zale <laughs> and that's gonna be flip a coin type stuff because they're both really yeah, delicious yeah. we're going to probably go to one store and then go to jay shiki that's probably what's gonna happen tomorrow do you what do you think jay shiki over burrow or Burrow over Jake Shiki. Mm. That's a hard one. That's a really hard But we have already had Burrow. True. I would say Jake Shiki to like end with some bomb seafood. That's a tough. No. Jake Shiki is cool. Now the hard choice is going to be cream tea versus Dominique. Dominique. <laughs> Dominique. <laughs> so hey, we need to get up at our, at our, at our good time tomorrow. I mean, because we'll be in London tonight. Well, we we gain an hour, so we're gonna get there like the same time that we leave. We're gonna get to London at like eight thirty. I was trying to think what any of those things be open tonight. Jay Shiki would be open, but what is today? Is today a Friday? We can call and see if we want to go. We could give it a shot. We, could give it a shot. we might go to Jay Shiki tonight and then go to Borough to market market tomorrow. I mean, we got it in this. I mean, for for we didn't like shop how we wanted to, mm -hmm. at least so far. Now we might hit a store at London tomorrow and London tomorrow hit a lick and find a lot of things we want, but we didn't shop as much as we wanted to. So, but let me try out these box of chocolates. <laughs> so they come in this really cute little like metal container. And they're all different flavors. I picked out the flavors I wanted. One though is for my dad. At least one. It's like a praline flavor or something. You open it up. It has this like really fancy schmancy seal on it. And it comes with like this little card that talks about their chocolates. This is from Jackie. Jacques Janine is how they said it. Jacques Janine. And... Oh, I have to rip the paper. Okay, so I'm sad I didn't get my reaction eating that chocolate on camera because you didn't make the face. it was so good. I'm about to eat another one. But I don't know what the flavors are. I don't know. We're going to go for this other purple looking milk chocolate one. Mmm. Y'all, this stuff is good. Now, now this little box of chocolates, let me tell y'all. It cost us probably what? 
twenty dollars probably. Cause I want to say the caramels were like twelve. I'm pretty sure the little tin of nine chocolates cost us twenty dollars, and they are literally bite size. But let me tell you, they are worth it. This is different. Mmm, 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 mmm. Hey guys, it's been a while since I checked in. Once again, looking like a oil pit. <laughs> so we are waiting on our flight to London right now. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We had, well, it was Tasha hot fries, but I had chicken nuggets and fries from McDonald's. Cause I just needed some food and it was right there and it was recognizable and I didn't have to think too hard about it. So we had that. And we're gonna get on our flight to Paris in a few hours. Go back there. I stay in a hostel for the night before catching our flight to New York tomorrow. But we have some time. We have some time in London. We're gonna try to do some things, try to make some things pop. So yeah, hopefully it all works out. So you guys, we are all checked in for our flight back to London and we found a lottery and got macarons and I'm so excited. We've been trying to get them since we've been here but we wanted to get them fresh to be able to bring home. So yeah, we finally got them. Cafe is a lot more than what we have. It is macarons in Paris. It is all these brownies, fancy cheesecakes. So yeah, the McCafe ain't just your average blueberry muffin. It is so much more than that. Get into it. Where's our gate? Cause I'm hot and tired. So how about a little um, impulse buy for you? We were walking past one of the stores here in the Paris airport. And I had been like wanting to get something, you know, that kind of said like I, I went to Paris. I mean, I thought I was going to find like some really good vintage finds. I just didn't. We didn't have a ton of time to look through that stuff. Um, and a lot of their stuff is just really expensive, honestly. Um, and I just was like, oh, I don't know if I'm really into paying $140 for a vintage skirt unless I like understand that it's like an investment and I just didn't understand a lot of those pieces um, or just how they would be investments to my personal wardrobe but I did get something I got a furlough bag and I'm so excited because it's so cute I also wanted to show you guys up close so this is the bag that our macarons came in and I got like all these really delightful flavors. So this is the little box and this is a card I think with like all their different flavors and I got the, I don't know. But look at how pretty that is. So pretty. And I got like flavors ranging from chocolate to coffee to like strawberry and lavender and what was the orange one? Orange citrus or something? Orange blossom. Orange blossom. There's so many different flavors. So y'all, the Paris airport is just sucking up all my little coins. I didn't spend all my little euros that I had left but okay so every time everywhere I go and you guys kind of know this if you watch my videos I like to try snacks from those places and I realized we didn't really get a chance to go to the Paris stores like grocery stores at all we got like waters a couple times but you know time so I got some little snacks here in the airport I'll show you guys what they are so I got some cheese and onion chip cheese and onion I got Bubbles de Fruits Badoy, and it is, looks like it's lemon, passion, lemon grapefruit. Oh my God, 
lemon grapefruit flavor drink. I got these things, they're called, they're from Justin, Justin Brito and they're Petite Batons de Burger. And I think they're just like Slim Jim equivalent to like the Paris equivalent to, the, to a Slim Jim. And then this one was really, really interesting. I've never seen this before out of all the places I've gone. This is a Kit Kat, but it says that it's made with ruby cocoa, ruby cocoa beans, so it's pink. And I've had like strawberry Kit Kats before that were pink, but this one I think is just a regular Kit Kat made with ruby cocoa beans. I don't even know what a ruby cocoa bean is, but it's in French. So yeah, those are my snacks I'm gonna try. Okay, you guys, so I tried the drink, the Bubbles de Fruits Bado. Let me give you guys a closer look. It is delicious. Like, I really like this. I wanna put, take one with me. <laughs> but clearly I have no more room for anything to travel with. So I also tried the little mini, like, Slim Jim equivalent, and this is so much more um, fancy. See? They're kind of good, actually. I like Slim Jims. I know a lot of people think that's nasty. I love Slim Jims. I like beef jerky, so. I feel like this. Who would like this is really good to me. back to London and before we go check into our hostel we decided to get some food I know it's really loud in here from Nando's and Nando's is one of my favorite restaurants in the whole world I love it um, and I'll show you guys around They're famous for their peri peri chicken. Sounds good. So the really cool thing about Nando's is that they're all unique and so the way that they're designed, they're all different. So we're about to get some food and then go check in our hostel and go to bed. Last day in London, and of course, we had to come back to Dominique Ansel's bakery and get cronuts to take with us to the airport. And I got a lime me up tart, and Tosh got a cookie shop. The cronut flavor is <coughs> peach gin with lychee ganache. So I'm sure it'll be delicious. Hey guys, so it's been a while since I've checked in. We 
traveled back to the States from London yesterday. And I didn't vlog yesterday at all because it wasn't very eventful. It was a lot of carrying luggage through airports and trains and yeah, so. Right now we're in New York City and we're gonna be here for a good chunk of the day. And we're starting off the morning grabbing some breakfast but we're really gonna kind of focus on lunch at Chelsea Market. I just need to eat when I wake up in the morning. Um, so I'm not about that life, so. Yeah, that's our, gonna be our day. We'll probably walk around and explore a little bit until our feet start to hurt and then I'm out. <laughs> and probably try to get some pink berry while we're here, so. They playing 112 out here. Y'all know I'm getting my entire life. <laughs> Chilling in New York. Having a big hair day. ordered food well first of all you guys look at my necklace I love it I love all things Africa obviously but um we ordered food from Los Tacos number one and I just have to show you guys it it looks delicious we're just waiting for chairs so we can sit down and eat so I got carne asada al pastor and adobo taco 